We are trying this out for the first time. And uh, yeah, I think we got everything set up right here. We got Heather behind the camera. And uh, we are ready to go live, which we are right now. So something different for us. We'll bring you, bring you live from the race shop here. And uh, I got something here in the box we're going to take a look at here. But uh, like I said, this, this, is, this YouTube live is our first time. We've been working on this for a while. So we're excited to have uh, another little avenue to bring you guys some content on, on YouTube. And uh, what, else is, what else is new here, too, is we uh, finally got the monetization part of our channel approved. And uh, there's a sponsorship or button down there if you want to you know, sponsor the channel. And uh, yeah, it might go towards our, our cameras and our microphones and our, our mic dive. And uh, there's all kinds of different, you know, donations there for five bucks on one up. So check that out. And um, yeah, without further ado, I guess we'll get into the reason why we're here. Um, oh, we got Dundalk. Oh, we got some people checking in. All right, so that's good. Um, <laughs> If you're not local, I'll just give, give you a little, little update here quick. Like I said, it's Friday night here in Pennsylvania. It's been raining all day and completely washed out for tonight. And more than likely, it's going to be a washout for tomorrow. The only track that hasn't canceled yet that I'm aware of is Lincoln. Yeah, they're always the last to cancel, but they really, they're calling for like a couple more inches of rain between now and tomorrow evening. So pretty sure they're going to cancel. So we're going to weekend off uh, right before the animals comes down next week. But let's get to the, to the unboxing here. We've got a box here we've been waiting on for quite a while. So get it, get it opened up here. I'm going to uh, go right here get my handy dandy knife out. My buddy Randall uh, gave me this knife a few years ago when I was uh, helping the uh, movies team. And uh, I keep it in my pocket all the time. It comes in uh, good use all the time. So let's see what's in here. We got the car pretty much ready to go. Sitting back here. Are you excited? I'm excited. Are you excited? Yeah. You're like, I haven't. Yeah, check it out. Okay, well, so here's the first part of the box. Boom, we got a bag. What's in the bag? Okay, check it out. We got a new suit in the bag here. The first time we've seen it, other than the renderings online. So this is pretty. Something brand new. Brand new. It's, it's cool. not red. Mm -hmm. No, it's not red. It's different. Let me get these out of here. I'll explain what that is in a couple minutes. Boom. Check that out. Nasty Nate racing on there. So we got ourselves a new Simpson suit. In the back we got. Okay, I'm holding that up there good enough. Yeah, you can see it. Got the RUPW logo on there and the outline in orange. Got our product sponsors on the sleeves. And the uh, old Nasty Boy, Nasty Nate on the front. Along with Stellbecker Electric and. Drop a big tattoo. Brian, bring it up here so everybody could see, like, second, how nice the embroidery is. The name on it. Yeah. It's coming away. Mm. That's good. Is that good? Yeah. You can even get a little closer and drop down a little bit. Pretty nice. It's even got the little Grim Reaper guy on there. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. Bring it a little closer. Pretty awesome. That's exciting. Maybe hasn't, uh, maybe doesn't really know anything about it. But we ordered the suit, uh, well, it's been a while. It probably took upwards of, probably close to two months to get the whole, get the suit. They're pretty far behind. Let me get this right around here. And, uh, oops. anyway. We got Nate on the suit. I know people are starting to see Nate in all of our videos. Nate's a cool guy. Uh, we've actually known Nate for a little over a year now. And 
He helps us on the crew. He's the sponsor on the car also. He's involved with some other race teams. And we kind of talked about getting a, a nasty Nate suit. He kind of talked about it a while ago. But we kind of like just didn't want to you know, kind of go with that. And boom, now we got a nasty Nate suit. And uh, it looks good. I'm happy with it. So, yeah. New things are always nice, right? So I, had a, I got a blue suit we got last fall. And I'm sorry, I got a red suit we got last fall. And I got this blue suit here. And uh, just to give everybody a little, little run on how all this works, when it comes to ordering a suit, we, uh, not sure there. okay, we're good. We uh, got a hold of my local Simpson guy, and you know, we go through the whole process of determining what, what kind of suit you want to get. And, you know, I got a, it's called an MTO 24 suit. It's a two-layer suit. And what they do is they send me all the paperwork. I had Heather measure me up. She's like a seamstress over there. She knows how to do all the measuring. And so we get all the measuring done and send it to Simpson. And we also send them the files for our the Nathan logo and all the logos. And we position them on the car, or we position them on the suit. The logos are from the car, and they position them on the suit where you want them. And it's a little bit back and forth to get the way you want it, get the colors right. And then, boom, you, you give them the green light, and it says it's taking about probably six to eight weeks from the time we, we, we got the, all the embroidery right, the colors right, and the, the sponsors right until now. And, yeah, it looks good. I'm excited. I'm excited to put it on. You know, like I said, I, had, I got one new suit over the winter. But, you know, we race a couple nights a week, and... Like have an extra suit, or if one gets oil on it, or something happens to it, you need an extra suit. You know, I had a couple of suits from before, but they were getting kind of old and kind of kind of wore out, and don't fit that well. So it's time to upgrade to some new suits. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited about it. What's everybody think? What are you guys thinking? What do you think of the new suit? What do you think, guys? What do you got I think it looks awesome. I'm excited to see you in it. Yeah, yeah. So, so what are those straps for? I'll probably wear it. I might even wear it Tuesday night. So some of the options on the suit, which I get kind of a plain Jane suit as far as we back up here. A lot of times, the suits nowadays are have most of the necessary options to begin with. But these straps here are for your arm restraints. And... They already have the loops in them right here. And what you do is you, you, know, you run these straps through here to the desired length, and then the end, one, week, one for each arm, the end's got an eyelet in it, just like that. You hook it in your seatbelt. So if something happens, you got in the wreck and the arms were loose, it couldn't come out of the top of the cage. So that's one option. Um, you know, it's definitely like an open wheel option. The open wheel guys use them all the time. You know, the boot cuff with the Cuff goes over your boot, that's another option. I always get that. Just fits fits better. You know, so you're stretching not tight, you pull against the actual fiber of the suit, the embroidery the stitching. Uh, well, you know, that's about it as far as the options. Got my name on the belt. And, uh... All right, we have a question. How yeah. do you clean or care for your suit? Good question. Uh, I wash it in cold water. Uh, just regular wash on cold with, um, like, Tide, loose Tide. And then I hang it to dry. I don't never, 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 uh, throw it in the dryer. I always hang dries. And I try not to wash the suit any more than I have to. So, you know, if we raced on Saturday night, like it's past Saturday, where it wasn't muddy, where it didn't get dirty, you know, I might just blow it all with some air, and then, you know, not wash it, you know, if it gets really dirty, then I'll wash it, but in my opinion, the less the better, it's easier on, easier on the actual embroidery and the color of the suit, the less you wash it, and, you know, I think it's just better for the suit, the less you wash it, and you run through all the water and all the cycles, but, uh, Good question.
Good question. So, yeah. I think I pretty much covered it all. I want to see. Mm -hmm. You happy with it? I'm happy with it. You happy with the Simpson brand in general? I'm happy with the Simpson brand. I had a couple other brands in the past. Wasn't always happy with them. For one reason or another, I got a couple of Simpson suits. And knock on wood, so far so good. Uh, my brother runs the Simpson suits. He kind of turned me on to you know, his guys, and, and they take care of me ever since. And fits well. One thing I like about it is it's got to fit well. Uh, it doesn't I had a suit that didn't fit that good, and actually kind of shrunk in the legs. Uh, well, I look, I felt like I was walking around. Uh, I don't know what I felt like walking around with my. A boot sticking out, and as soon as you sat down, then you know your lower part of your leg would be exposed. And in the case of a fire, you want your your legs to be covered because you're going to you know, feel lines right there. But uh, Simpson suits be good. Simpson suit fits me good. My brother helmets and gloves, so I'm happy with that for sure. Um, so guys, we got our car. We're getting ready to race. Tomorrow, which probably isn't going to happen, but uh, the crew were here this week going famous from Saturday night, all the tires mounted, and, and uh, kind of hard to get motivated to race when it's raining, and they're calling for rain tomorrow. It's pouring. Uh, streets are flooded. They said they're calling for more rain this week, for this weekend, all the way up to, I think, Sunday, midday, it's going to rain. So more than likely, we'll just, our next race will be Lincoln Wednesday night with the Royal Battle Laws. It's a big show, but uh, we're going to go, and I feel good about it. Yeah, our chances there is all about qualifying, and uh, should be running pretty good. Two questions. Yep. Do you wear the fireproof underwear? I wear the fireproof top. I don't wear the underwear. Um, I don't really have a good reason for, other than comfort for the underwear part as far as the way I feel with the underwear on. I just don't wear the underwear, but I do wear the fireproof top. I wear the, the Simpson head sock also, tucked into my suit there. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm wearing. Next question. Second question was, what are your expectations going into this outlaw race? Uh, my realistic expectations are to go there and qualify. Uh, I think that's really the ultimate goal to start the night off and to go there and, and lay down a decent time trial, have to put us in position to qualify. I'm sure there's going to be, I'm going to guess, in the mid 40s, upper 40 cars, and you know, they're all going to be fast cars. So, you know, plan is to go there, qualify, and then, you know, take it from there. I feel like we should have a decent shot at it. We race every week, you know, tracks are like, and the cars are handling pretty good too. So, what else we got there? Is there a zipper opening so you can relieve yourself or pee? <laughs> <laughs> There's no trap door in the back or the front, so. Uh, you gotta that, unzip the whole thing? You just gotta unzip it and then, it does go low enough, you could, you know, a pee if you had to, but uh, there's no trap door for the, the other part of that. <laughs> but, uh, if anybody has any other questions, you're watching this later on, we're not live, just drop them down. We try to answer everything. Yeah, you know, just put a comment below. I know it's uh, Friday night, people probably busy doing things, but uh, yeah, comment below. Stay tuned for more. Um, we're gonna, now that we can do this live, we're gonna kind of try to work this, out, work this a little bit too. And uh, we have another video coming this week. Something different. We, uh, even if we don't race. Even if we don't race, we got a backup plan. We we're working on. We've been working on a video with our friend Dalton. Uh, last while here, but it all came together this week. We we're able to get it all done. And boy, tell, tell them what it is now. Come over here. Come over here. Come I don't want to go over there. Well, it's a video about working on a race car and life on the road. Life working local. Uh, how you get involved with racing. Not just working on the race, we're working on doing it for a living. Life, is, it's a, a video about being a crew member and where where you start and how you, where you can go with it and how to get there. So that's that's coming up this week regardless of whether or not we race tomorrow night. We'll have another video this week. So.
We got how many uh, races between an engine refresh? Oh, uh, good question there. We kind of go by laps, we don't really go by races, but I would say the four lap count would be probably around seven, eight hundred laps, depending on depending on where you race. We uh, if you race it. The road would probably be less than that, but racing like we're probably gonna be shooting for seven, eight hundred laps. So if you figure roughly forty to forty-five laps a night, you do the math. So yeah, probably it, close to you know, between fifteen and twenty races in that range. Uh, is there a tire shortage in the sprint car class? There is a big tire shortage in the sprint car class right now. Uh, here at our our business, we sell race for new units for our house. So we have a full speed shop next door here. This is our, this is our race shop and our workshop. My actually, my workbench is behind us here. That's where I spend a lot of my time in there and next door selling parts. But there's a big time problem with sprint car tires right now, and it's been a problem for the past probably three weeks. And we kind of knew it was coming. We didn't know how big it was going to be, but we haven't been able. We haven't had a regular tire in inventory for. All right, two and a half weeks now, and the latest news on that would be, at least here on the East Coast, is that they did get some tires this week. They, if they were to race tonight, which they did, and tomorrow, which it looked like they, they were going to give every team participating a token for one regular tire that you'd have to redeem the track that night. Moving forward, since the outlaws canceled, we're going to wash out, I think. Ohio is a washout the whole state weekend. Hopefully this coming week, you know, the production will start to, you know, pick up uh, to, to the demand. And hopefully we'll have some tires here for sale. But, you know, we're uh, heading into a really busy time of year. We're at the beginning of May, but in one month from now, they're going to have three speed weeks in the month of June. Western Pennsylvania Speed Week, which I think is five or six nights. Ohio, which is six or six. Maybe even eight nights, seven or eight nights of racing. Then you roll right into Pennsylvania Speed Week in the month, and there's another, I think, eight races. That's a lot of tires. Fingers crossed the tire shortage gets better, but I know it's affecting other divisions too. And uh, we'll see what happens. We're all got our fingers crossed, as well as the promoters too, because if there's no tires, I get a race. All right, Steve says, I love the channel. Um, I'm from Michigan. Have you ever raced in Michigan? Hey, Steve. Thanks for checking in. I've never raced in Michigan. I've been to Michigan a couple times. I've never raced there. Um, no, never raced in Michigan. I know there's uh, a couple tracks up there. I know the All-Stars head up there a couple times a year. But uh, never been to Michigan to race. What is your take on NASCAR drivers and the Outlaws? NASCAR drivers racing with the Outlaws? Yeah. I think it's great. I um, I think a couple years ago, everybody was tired of seeing Kyle win all these sprint car races. But I think it's, ultimately, I think it's the best thing it could, you could really ask for as a dirt fan or even a competitor just because of the, you know, it brings a lot of, Tension, a lot of awareness, maybe to maybe for people that wouldn't normally come to sprint car races or even watch it. So you know, you're watching it on Dirt Vision or you're on Flow. I think uh, you know Alex Bowman was in town last week. Uh, Christopher Bell was in a couple weeks ago. Of course, Kyle Larson. I seen where Chase Briscoe is going to race in some sprint cars. Of course, Tony used to race. Casey Kane. I think it's all good. Oh, do. All right, so what's your favorite meal that Heather cooks? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, favorite meal? I don't, you know, there's so many right now. She made homemade pierogies the other night, which were banging. Um, she makes a chicken stir fry sometimes, which is really good. I haven't had that in a while. Uh, boy, I know, there's a lot of them. There, there really isn't a bad meal. Uh, one time there was too much spice in the meal. Too, too much of the <laughs> I put too much just, red pepper. Too much pepper, but right. uh, I think that's so the that time. was a question that I'll answer. Oh. So hopefully, hopefully I'll look back. Um, so 
Somebody asked, where can I get t-shirts Wednesday night when the outlaws are there? Ooh. So let's talk about when the outlaws are at the track. And we'll talk about this during our video, I'm sure. Yep. Things are a little different when the outlaws are at Lincoln or anywhere. Um, local teams are not allowed to sell their merch. Hold on, with one exception, which I just learned this today. What? The point leader can sell his merch at the track. So Double D will be allowed to sell his merch on site. Well, good for him, because he has a lot he of is money. He has a lot of money to stop for his t-shirt trail, so go buy his merch. All right, for our merch, because we are not the point leader. And everybody else. If you're watching our channel. <laughs> some people, some teams sell their merch in the parking lot, because they don't stop them from doing that. So if you're looking for a particular local driver, and you happen to be there for that, Check out the parking lot. I think it's the east parking lot, which would be the parking lot where the pit entrance, the yeah. pit entrance is. We don't do that. Here's why. I don't know. So what I see from a trend perspective is that when people come for the outlaws, they only have the opportunity to get their merch so many times. So they go for that, and we end up just kind of like standing around. So we'll have our merch at the trailer. It'll be hanging up. You'll see it. Um, we always. No options. We don't always fit this. That's another change, which we'll talk about in our video. So we don't, we lose our pit spot. We lose our paid pit spot. Um, it doesn't exist when the outlaws are there. So hopefully Danny will save us a spot. It, it, it Bill don't. works um, right up until the time we go to the track on Saturday. We don't sit at the gates from noon on. So we're usually like one of the last ones there. Hence the reason. Okay, so let's, let's just back this up one second. You know, Lincoln Speedway, you have the opportunity to buy your reserve your pit spot all year long. So we do that. So we don't have to get there, you know, bright and early. Some days it's hot. You don't want to get there, you know. And we kind of have a spot on T-shirt alley. Same spot every week. But when the outlaws come to town, everything changes. It's frustrating. It's disappointing. For, not just for us, you can talk to Brittany Moody. You can talk to... Probably Norris, Bollinger, Jen Bollinger, everybody that's up there every week, support the track. You know, you got your, you, you spend the money for the pit stop, pit stop, pit spot, man, I'm all tongue tied here. Anyway, the will show up, it all goes out the window, you know, and we're talking like we have two little totes. You'd be like two foot by three foot totes with t shirts in, and we're not allowed to sell uh, on the Midway there, t-shirt out. So, and we lose our pit spot, which is a problem for everybody. Because <laughs> the animals get there really early. They really early, they let them in, and then, <laughs> you know, and everybody else is fending for themselves. But back to the t-shirt thing. Yeah. So we'll have them. We'll have them at the. Uh, we don't know where we're going to end up parking at, so we just have to just look. You have us. to look for us. Yeah. And you know, if um, if you don't get a pit pass. You know, they're really, it's hard to say because here's another dilemma we have. It's a work, it's a, it's a Wednesday night. Everybody's got to go to work next day. So, you know, if something happens and we're not there all night long, we apologize. Well, here's the other thing, too. Sometimes I say, if you need a church shirt and you don't have a pit pass, message the page and I'll bring it out. For whatever reason, when the Outlaws and All-Stars are there, there is, like, no phone service. Which really stinks because you're trying trialing and you're trying to get your race monitor to work. And I don't know if they like suck it all up with their big boards or that towers can only handle so much, but it is so slow. There's like, so if you send me a message that night, I probably won't get it. So I can't so, even say that. Anyway, we, you can always check out billydietrich.com. I'm gonna go yeah. see, see, I know there's more questions. Oh, I know, I know one question. Hey, Some... Here's something else we want to add quick while we're talking about merch. We have new hats. Uh, we're picking them up this weekend. I don't know if you'll get them on the website or not, Heather. I don't know. Yeah, I could probably get them on. And then we also got our new stickers we're going to go on there. So we got new hats coming. Kind of a variety of stuff. Just because of supply and demand. And then new stickers. So we will get that on the merch part of the page. And I believe, is there a merch part on YouTube now too, Heather? Maybe? Not yet. I have yeah. to set that up. So we're working on that too. So maybe, you know, eventually it'll be right below the description of the video. Yes, anymore. we can ship to Australia, but message the page because I have to look up the shipping. I'm going to answer some of these. Yep. Um, who did my tattoos? Darren Wolf. Jeff Zalazak. 
He uh, has his own tattoo place in uh, Canicksburg, Camp Hill area. Um, if you message the page, or I can, I'll, I'll post uh, a reply in here to show, tell you where to where to go. Yes, we did try pineapple upside down cake. That's one of my favorites. Um, someone said, and we may or may not know this person. Who is your favorite fan out of all the ones you know? My favorite fan. <laughs> There's so many. I can't pick just one. Oh Mine's Mike. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any Steve Smith Senior stories? Steve Smith Senior stories. I have one that sticks out. Um, I never raced with Steve. He, you know, I started in '97. I think it's right around the time he was quitting, roughly in that area. I think. Um, my, you know, of course I watched him race a lot, but one story always comes to mind. We went to Western PA ski rig with my dad, probably 90, I don't know, 91, 92 in that range. And I believe we were at a track called either Hickory or Challenger Speedway, which is no longer there, it's closed. Anyway, it was an all-star show and he just beat everybody. He had a, just remember the track was small. He had a tiny little leopard tire on. And he just put it around the bottom and just beat everybody with money. <laughs> he did that a lot of years. Um, All right, so. Big race coming up at Lincoln in uh, June for Steve Smith Tribute Race. Um, I think we're uh, maybe almost caught up. Uh, Let me see here. Oh, somebody said, can you do a video on changing gears? Yes, we can. And... We, we, we kind of started that video already. It's a little tidbit. Me and my brother Danny took the, took the reins on that video and had not very happy with the quality of the video, so we might have to redo it. It's really dark, and it's yeah. hard. To, the camera was going in and out of focus. I think they used the wrong camera for the, yeah. for the application there, but so, we'll work on that. Yeah. But, all right. But then we'll wrap it up. I appreciate everybody tuning in to our first YouTube live. New suit here, Simpson Nasty Nate racing suit. Looking forward to wearing it. Oh, I'm going to add some Nasty Nate hats to the uh, website too. You guys oh. interested in some Nasty Nate merch? Nasty Nate merch and uh, some Nasty Nate stickers. Yeah, stickers. Yep, Nasty Nate stickers too. They're really cool. So, yeah, the Nasty Nate's going to be having hats. I have some at the track, right but uh, I didn't add them to the website right yet. On here. Sponsor the AP car. Also, there's sponsors on here too. So I'm at Lincoln Saturday night, him and Sarah, so it's cool to see them there. But, uh, all right, we'll wrap it up. Have a great weekend. Probably going to be without any Pennsylvania racing, but Wednesday night, Lincoln Speedway. Hey, if you're there, stop down, say hello if you get a chance. And uh, we'll uh, keep the content coming. We appreciate everybody. BillyDietrich.com. Have a great weekend. All right. Have a great night, guys. I don't know how to stop it.